Hey guys, Taylor here with another screencast on Photoshop, XHTML, and other short CSS tricks. Today we're going to change the color of a car in Photoshop. And this isn't too hard of a tutorial. Actually, it's not hard at all. You have a tutorial for it. Anyway, it has pretty good results. If someone doesn't tell you that it is, you most likely won't tell that it actually is Photoshopped and change dynamically and we're gonna to go to your favorite stock photo site. I use this one, it's whatever you'd like to use. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go with supercars. Our car is nice. <laughs> and here's a good one. You see how this car is yellow and the background is pretty dark. You're gonna to wanna to go for something like that. These will be good as well. Just any bright, high contrast color from its background will these trees right there are close hue to that red. They're a lighter hue. It may catch in that. If you use your selection, which is what I'm going to show you how to do, it shouldn't matter anyway. But we're going to use this one as an example. I've already got it opened in Photoshop. So go ahead and download your image and open it up in Photoshop. And once you've got that, duplicate the layer by pressing Command J or Control J on a PC. Hide your background layer, and this is for backup, basically, just in case you save over it or some other sort of mishap, just in case. Next thing you're going to want to do is select the car. Just You can do this two ways. You can use the quick, the magic wand, but if you want a better quality output, I'm going to use the magic wand for this tutorial simply because it's just that, a tutorial, just to show you what to do. But you, I would suggest use a pen tool. It's a lot better output you can control directly which pixels to select. And I'm going to select that now and I'll be right back with you. I'm back guys and you'll notice there's something weird about my past. I've done this particular photo before and I know this, the replacement color is not going to want to pick up these shadows along the bottom. So I'm um, accounting for that and going out a little bit so I can select those particular colors and there won't be a cutoff it'll be a smooth shadow right there you'll see what I mean in a minute but you can do this multiple times with your photo and find out those same things where the engine won't account for it and you can account for it yourself anyway you're gonna press command J again and send that to a new layer this is what mine looks like yours is gonna look a lot better because you took a lot more time on it but we're going to go to image adjustments and your place color. And what you're going to want to do here is it's got a pre selection, but don't use that. Photoshop's pre selection is almost always going to be not what you need. But you can see that's a really good selection. I've selected a mid tone, which, let's see if I can show you. All right. Well, evidently I can't show you, but these are highlights anywhere where the light is particularly bright the opposite of shadow these that's pretty much your base shadow right there these are nice little gradient shadows you're gonna to want to select a mid-tone and for this particular photo mine's about right there that little middle mark right there if you can see it I don't know how the screencast is coming gotta come out so you might, might, might be able to see that <laughs> we're gonna make our car blue as you can see right now that looks like crap you can tell it's photoshop like I said I haven't accounted for these yet which is why I went out and I'll show you that in a minute very clearly photoshop way too bright to be in the sunlight as this light shows there's some errors right here and right there and it's just an awful photo and so what we're gonna do is select the add color option we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select it and you notice that's fixed a lot it looks really nice now. I'm gonna turn down the fuzziness just a little bit to get that gleam back. Well, we may not. We'll keep it up. Anyway, as I was saying about the color in the sun, whenever the sun hits a color, it doesn't desaturate it, but you see less of that color and this is very obviously photoshopped way too much color to be in their driveway on a sunny day so we're gonna turn down the saturation as you can see as I do that 
it starts to look a lot better. And you can turn it all the way up and it looks awful. It's actually catching some of the lights if you can see there. We'll turn it down to about right there, possibly. That would look good. And there you go. From this point, you can tweak a little bit. I see a lot of places here. I could fix that shadow right there. It looks a little bad. This right here along here and even right there with a the magic wand tool did not do a good job. Like I said, yours is going to look a lot better. That's basically it. You can fine tune if you like. That's like I said, you need to fix your stock photo with the levels and brightness and contrast particularly because that helps Photoshop tell what color you want to pick because it goes off a of contrast of that color. If you have a high contrast photo like this yellow on a mostly green background, it's going to select it pretty easily like mine did. But if you have a green car on a forest background, it's obviously going to have a little trouble and you're going to need to bring out that contrast a little more to help it. But that's about it, guys. Don't forget to check out the rest of my blog at taylormdaltry.wordpress.com or for those of you watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description to your right, I believe, if I'm not backwards. <laughs> for more screencasts on Photoshop, XHTML, and CSS and other cool tricks, make sure to check out my blog. And thanks for watching, guys.